Hello YouTubers, Rob here. So um, Alan on one of my other videos has requested I do a bit of a back-to-back -back kind of side-by-side -side comparison between two Jian Ying um, relatively cost-effective snooker cues for, I guess, amateur to mediocre snooker players. Um, if you're looking for another cue, then you've probably stumbled across these on Amazon. Um, this one here is the Berlin Ebony, which I've done previous reviews of. This is my one. I paid 75 for this. I think they're going for about 85 to 90 now. So the prices have gone up a little bit in the last um, six months or so, um, and it's a it's a it's a fine queue. I, I like it. Um, my father-in-law, similar time to me, just before Christmas, bought this, which is the um, Maple and Ash, and uh, this is the cheaper one. So I think these will go for about sixty-five to seventy currently on Amazon. Um, I think this is called the Ash Shaft Three, possibly. And this one's called the TSC-13 or something like that. So, um, if you're stumbling across these, you're probably wondering what you're getting for your money. Well, you're getting the case, you're getting the mini butt, and you're also getting the adjustable extension, which are made of something quite light, I guess it's aluminium or something. Um, really good quality. They work well. Um... Differences, if any. So things that let's get you a bit of a close up on these. And possibly some better lighting. Better lighting, anyone? <laughs> not sure if that's helped or not. So yes. We'll start with, this is the cheaper of the two, so I'll just hold it up, so it's kind of splice at the top here, maybe we've got two splices or so, it's nicely done, this is maple, it's like a red wood, it looks really nice, like a dark, dark kind of, not red, I'd say more browny, orangey, nice grain to it, nice finish to it, I think this looks really nice under the light of the uh, snooker table when he's playing he's and he's got it in his hand. I think it, it looks well. Um, it certainly catches the light better than the, the just the ebony one, which seems to absorb all the light. This really shows off the features and the grain. And if anything, I think I prefer this one. Um, I certainly prefer its looks. But it's, you know, it's a personal preference thing. The back's quite bland, obviously, because you've got no additional splicing on the back there. Um, but you can see, you know, it's it's well made. Um, so that's that one. One thing I'll say, the difference is in quality. Look at the thickness of that connector. So that brass kind of connector there. Um, it's not all that thick. And if you look at the other side of it, which is the Q, obviously it slides into. Again, see if we can catch the light, catch that colour. Not sure if that's coming through or not for you. Um, but again, we're quite a short, stubby connector there compared to the other one. So this is my one, the Berlin Ebony. Looks really gangster, doesn't it? Looks lovely in the pictures on the tinterweb. They certainly make it look more desirable. Um, in the flesh, I'm not entirely convinced it's worth paying the extra for, really. Um, again, you've got a splice here, you've got it all kind of spliced here. It's got features all the way around it, there's no blandness, and I love this kind of walnut-y look to it. Under the light of a snooker hall, it's really just doesn't make much difference, no one really cares. <laughs> um, it's just what you fancy, really. So this is the connector. You can see how chunky that is compared to the other one. And also, if you look at the connector at this end as well, you can see it's a bigger, more robust connector. Um, so maybe there's a slight quality difference there. It might just be you know, it's the connectors they used. You know, you may order one. You find it's got different connectors. This is the problem with the Chinese cues. I think you know they're 
they all look kind of similar and they all might arrive slightly differently, made of different parts. It's difficult to say if they're going to be consistent. Um, they're obviously all natural products, so you know, in terms of the lines you'll get down and they'll change. Um, I like, again, Brian's lines, or the lines down Brian's queue here. So, where are we? Um, can you see that? Make sure if you can. So, that's the arrows he's got. It's a slightly darker wood. You can see there we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six or so aiming arrows. Say so aiming arrows, it's like the grain. Slightly darker wood, more contrasting arrows on those. Well, certainly inspires confidence. Um, when you look down it, yeah, like that. And then my one, a bit more subtle. Still got the aiming lines. So we've got uh, one, two, three, four, four. We've only got four aiming arrows. Have I got this the right way around? Yes, I do have this the right way around. So actually fewer aiming arrows on this one. Slightly less contrasting colour. Um, I would say, generally speaking, very, very mildly smoother. No, they're not identical. I was going to say, mine was mildly slidey, slippery. No, I think that's just perceived. I don't, think, I don't think that's really real. I think they've pretty much finished the same, which is a good finish. They're very straight. They don't wobble about too much. Um, if we roll them along the floor, which I can do, watch for the head going up and down. Can you see that? Very, very minor. And with mine, maybe a little bit less so actually with mine. Uh, both of them are very straight anyway. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Weight wise, both weight bob -bom on. 499 grams each when you connect this obviously bit to this bit um, bang on identical in weight mine is mildly maybe a quarter to a half centimeter longer um, but yeah that's it really they're, they're very similar I just think it's up to you really which you prefer the look of um, and in all honesty if it was the difference between 65 paying 65 pounds and 85 pounds, I'd probably just save the 20 quid and, uh, and go with the maple and ash. So, anyway, that's my opinion. Otherwise, the quality of the cases and everything's good. It's good enough, Q. Q's a Q at the end of the day. It's a piece of, piece of wood. As long as you're happy with it, as long as you've got confidence with it. I mean, Steve Davis, I think, won tournaments with a Q his dad bought him from a car boot when he's about 13, you know. He just got used to it. It's whatever you get used to, whatever you're comfortable with. Um, one guy had a right wrecker of a queue. He snapped it in a competition and then spent hundreds of pounds, probably in the thousands, getting someone to custom build it back to being the rubbish piece of junk he grew up using as a child again. So it's just it's just whatever you're comfortable with. And, you know, either of those queues, when you're stepping up, um, are going to make you feel more than, more than confident. Cheers, Em.